Maestro, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here is a trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player. Certainly mighty proud to say it. I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. Help me cultivate a horse sense with a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try to give an ironclad leave to yourself from a three rail billiard shot? Well, just as I say it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a balk line game, I say that any boob can take and shove a ball in a pocket, and I call that sloth. The first big step on the road to the depths of Dag Bredea say first, medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit and listening to some big out-of-town Jasper here to tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they sat down right on a horse. I'd like to see some stuck-up jockey boy setting on Dan's patch. Make your blood boil? Well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in a table. Pockets didn't mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. And all week long, your River City, you could be frittering away. I say, your young men will be frittering. Frittering away there, noon time, supper time, chore time, too. Get the ball in the pocket. Never mind getting dad lines pulled at the screen door patched or the beefsteak pounded. Never mind pumping any water till your parents are caught with the cistern empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Yes, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the Knickerbocker, shirt tail young ones, peeking in the pool hall window after school. You got trouble. Folks right here in River City. Trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. Now, I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm going to be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around that hall? They'll be trying out Bebo, trying out Cubans, trying out tailor-maids like cigarette fiends, and bragging all about how they're going to cover up a telltale breath with sense. And one fine night, they leave the pool hall, heading for the dance of the armory, libertine men and scarlet women, and ragtime, shameless music that'll grab your son, your daughter, with the arms of the Jungle, animal instinct, mass terrier. Friends, the idle brain is the devil's playground. Trouble, oh, yeah, trouble. right here in River City. Right with the capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. That stands for pool. We've, surely got trouble. We've surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. <laughs> Mothers of River City, heed that warning before it's too late. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption the minute your son leaves the house. Does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? Is he starting to memorize jokes out of Captain Billy's whiz bag? Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like swell and so's your old man. But if so, my friends, you got trouble right here in River City with a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. We've surely got trouble right here in River City. Remember the main Plymouth Rock and the Golden Rule. Oh, we got trouble. We're in terrible, terrible trouble. That game with the 15 numbered balls is the devil's tool. I ask, we got trouble, trouble, trouble.